Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. A lot of you have been asking about an account update. So guess what? Here is the account update. We're gonna go over all of my account, try and showcase everything that we've got for our account over basically almost coming up to a year, but we'll showcase even the lifetime of the account. So stay tuned for all of my account, my main account I play on server two division one zero zero one. Smash a like, comment, and subscribe for more daily Call of Dragons videos. And yes, we're going over my main account today. And like I say, it, a lot of you in the main, you know, when we're going live and stuff, ask me about it. Because you can see we are at 32.1 million power. We have been pushing a little bit of power. And obviously, we've been gaining, at the moment, I'm at 464,000 uh, merits. We can go into my more info tab here and you can actually see a nice little breakdown. So I'm at 10.6 building power and 10.9 tech power now, which we'll showcase in a moment. My legion power is at 8.1 and then hero power only 2.3 because again, if you are wondering, we just kind of started the season two. We are about a week in now so on the august stone progress you know we've completed this first land and we're in the chest of desire just about to unlock the thunder rock for the first time and then obviously the great deeds is where we're at so you can see where we're still early days in the season right so if we looked at the heroes you can see i've got most of mine coming up to 40 now i've been even leveling up these epic heroes to get epic heroes to level 40 so i've got the awakening skill for them ready and it means i've got a big versatility of heroes right so i can use actually different heroes for the stamina usage and obviously not worry about obviously running out of you know heroes to fight in pvp so let's look at my my actual tech right because the tech we've been pushing and i did something a little bit i was a bit tempted but i'm gonna explain it now but in the ego tech tree we've pretty much got everything complete even the the scholarship two and what we're doing as you can see is finalizing this last bit of eco zone i'm going to focus on the mana area first because mana is just the most important resource you're going to need so if you are looking for like trying to figure out which ones you should prioritize on this eco section always go for the advanced the mana the mana is just the most important thing you're going to need honestly guys so get this done maybe get gold done as well because i've done gold first but i kind of regret it i wish i did the mana um side first so we're doing mana now and then once we've done that we'll, we'll go up you know we'll work our way back up and then we'll finish this um area but because what we did were is in the military tech right we pushed through and as you can see we did pop my assault strategies and this was basically done at the at the end of last season just before we got into season two and i've actually popped it and finished it off already so we have one really long tech which is still going which is the first aid which is almost 51 days still to go this is what the other guy was at but obviously we had the speed ups of 51 days so he was able to uh, clear that out and then we've still got defense formations. it's like the last big ticket one that we need to do I and mean, we've got all the blue tech done uh, which is really good because it means we can just focus on the actual T5. And when we look at my progress on the tech, as you can see, we have been upgrading these guys to a nice little roundabout area of how much I use them. But as you saw, I was an arch main mainly. So my architect's really, really high, you know, and we can't push this any further until we do our assault strategies. And because we've got 10 out of 10 now, on this assault strategies one we're going to be able to actually do this as well as work on these guys after right so we are doing stuff as soon as we complete these two we know we can complete these and basically have all of this section left to work on basically on the pvp side right so that's my tech you can see i've pushed it quite nicely i'm now focusing way more on it and one thing i'm gonna say to you guys if you want a little tip here to focus on your tech always try and pop one like long tech once you've got your two research cubes unlocked for vip level and then have you know one that you can always keep using because it means this big ticket item at the end of the season you can finish with like maybe the last 10 days worth of speed ups get it popped 
But during that time, you are finishing it off, you know, all of this ecotex. It's only a couple of days to get all of these done. And by the time you've done, you know, one of these, you should have been able to complete all of this ecotech in reality, right? And once it's all done, you're good to go because then you are just focusing on these, um, you know, last little bit of tech, which you could then, you know, focus on the minimal ones, which has the lowest days. So this was only eight. So I do this one or the, the mage one. This one's got 16, this one's got 12. So you can see, we could do this one first and then you just work your way around and doing the lowest, you know, days until you've finished all of your tech. But yeah, we are working towards it. And if you're wondering, I am gonna unlock my archers and mages first. And then once I've done these guys, I'm actually gonna unlock the elk riders and then the iron bark trees, allow me to get forest eagles. And then we can actually get that march speed where it's kind of broken once you get the full march speed bonus on your troops. You can get in and out of fights a lot more quicker and you're gonna see that benefit hopefully over time, right? So that is my tech all covered for you guys. Right. If we're looking at the speed ups, I'll show you my speed ups. But just remember, I have only just finished off that last little big, big ticket item. But we've got a nice little bit of like, you know, building speed ups to work with. We're building these ones back up so we can start finishing off the level 25 tiles. But we've got a decent chunk of these uh, training speed ups, which is good. We're going to build these again back all the way up as much as we can over this season. And then this is the tech. This is all we've got left of the tech. And as you can imagine, I had universals. I've used a bunch of my 60 hours, or 60 minutes, I say. I used 15 and eight hours as well, and a couple of 24 hours. So I have used, obviously, over 51 days worth of speeds. That would have been here, if you can imagine all of that, right? So we've done quite well, and if I can, you can't really see, if I go a little bit lower, maybe. You know, that is the speed ups for the, you know, everything. So we were hiding the, the, the 30 minutes. So we're doing good, you know. We're, we're going to rebuild these back up over time, as you guys can imagine. And then, obviously, the resources we're really building back up as well because we needed to pop the resources for the the tech and then, obviously, for the new tech later on. So that's why we're a little bit low on here, but we are building these up. We've got some nice big 500k bundles, which is good. Even these guys and this 50k one, you know, they get you going. So I'm trying not to use these as much as possible. But then we go to my artifacts, and this is where I think a lot of you guys will probably be a bit more interested, right? Because a lot of players are quite, um, you know, surprised when they see how many legendary artifacts I have over time. You've got to remember, I am now playing almost my fourth season of Call of Dragons, right? I've technically played season one twice. We've done through season one plus. No, I played season one once, and then season one plus, I've played twice. And now we're in season two, right? So we've played almost four seasons, which is crazy compared to everyone else that might have only played one or two seasons nowadays, right? But we've got some rare artifacts, you know, and we've unlocked more since we've ever done one of these. So we've always had the, you know, Phoenix Eye, the Viola's Bow, as well as Shadow Blaze. These were some of the earliest ones we've unlocked with the Dragon Scale Armor. And one really rare artifact a lot of people say they don't see players have, but I do, is that Great Mars Warhammer. We, we unlocked this really, really early on when we were bit beta testing. I think I even have a video for it, but it's a really ancient one. But then obviously we've got the, the cavalry almost like trifecta. We've got a blink one and two of the best like DPS ones at the moment, which is really cool. And then when we scroll up, you know, we've got the PVE, the healing, the garrison, and these are just like extra artifacts that I don't have. But when we look at any of the, you know, artifacts in the purple, I have all of these maxed out apart from a couple, like the bombs away and the fire burst. These are the only two I don't have because obviously these got introduced later on in the game. So we have to build on these later on. But if we look at all the other ones, you know, we've got level two dragon tamer, level two judgment, one on the garrison, level three on tier, level four on the Karata's wrath, level three on roots. Level 5, Lucy's Hall, and this one's one of the best ones you can get as well, just to let you guys know. Get this through farming those dark chests from Killing Patrols. You get the keys passively, get 5, and just keep popping 5 on the purple ones as much as you can, and you will eventually get this, right? And when you get it maxed out, it will always summon a level 7 tile. So it's a nice little tip there for you guys why you should try and get this always, you know, as fast as you can. It's a really good artifact for gathering. 
Um, we've got level one, obviously, on the Warhammer. We only just unlocked it. That's all we did during the event. Level one, Spring Blade. Level one, Fang. Level three on the Sawn Blade, which is really nice. So we've got a big bit of damage. Level two, Blink already, which we got really recently. Uh, level two on Viola's Bow, which I'm really happy about. I kind of want it a little bit higher, but it's too hard to obtain. So maybe over time it might be easier and we get it to level five and that'd be really nice. We've got level four shadow blades and we just need that one more unlock so hopefully in the future we can get that uh, level three on dragon scale armor and level two finally on phoenix eye so that's all of my artifacts covered you know we've got quite a lot um if we go into like you know my healing this is what we've been covering this season so far um, we obviously need to use these little keystone coppers to create two little artifact keys for us but as you can see Token wise, we're saving. We've been saving all of our tokens. All our heroes have been leveling up through. So we've got quite a lot saved. And obviously we're gonna get rid of these purples guys. And what we're gonna be using them on, just to let you guys know, for my just personal preference at the moment, if we just get rid of them for you, if it wants to work, is the, um, the keys. We actually are buying these gold keys and we're slowly buying some of these epic hero tokens because I am hopefully foreshadowing and hoping that in the future there's going to be, you know, the new factions. Whenever there's a new faction, you need gold keys because normally the new faction brings a new epic hero and a legendary hero. And if that's the case, you're going to have to get access to them normally through the gold chest. And this is normally what Rise of Kingdoms did. So it'd be interesting to see what these guys do in this game. But this is what I'm doing. I'm saving my keys. Keys. You can see we're almost coming up to 100 keys already. <coughs> so it's going to be a nice video either way if we don't get one or not, right? So now let's go to the heroes. We've got to the one bit where you probably want to see what I'm rocking, where we're at with a lot of heroes, right? So we've got our level 4 Ifrega. I can level her up to 5 stars potentially if I want to, if I'm lucky. But I'm going to save those at the moment for the new heroes potentially in the future. We're going to try and just get every hero to 4 star before we even consider 5 or 6 star in heroes. Because the bigger the investment into those heroes, like I've done for Nico here, kind of regret it. And I wish that 5 star was on my Frega or even on potentially the Valen, right? Just these heroes, I kind of wish I had that investment on. But um, for my actual heroes, you know, we've got 5352 on our Frega, really good. We've got her slowly leveled up. So hopefully we might be able to get this skill at five, you know, triple five two, which has been really nice little addition to the army. Um, our Lilia was basically mid spend. So we've got her to 5225, which is kind of the best I can roll her. The only other thing was Hopefully getting a 5135, but that's just so hard to obtain, so we, we won't do that. We've got Valen. Valen's at 5532, which is really nice for our account. We, you can see we, this is through gold keys mainly. We've been doing this through gold keys in the daily really easily. We've been switching it out, and he's leveled up, you know. So you will unlock him, and you will level him up, guys, the more you play the game. Uh, my Madeline, what I ran and what I rolled through, you know, the lucky spin, got to 5 2 to one i might actually invest into madeline in the future we're gonna just hold out for now we'll soon see and then we've got bakshi five two 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 this is all from gold keys alone my fear as well is a five three two one fear that is all gold keys too so really honestly easy good going heroes i can always run and i do run all the time these guys at this rating with my marches because my tech's pretty good uh we've Unlocked Syndron, he's 5111, nice good hero. He has, honestly guys, at 5111, replaced my Gwan Win. Honestly, she, she's been replaced by him. Even if you had Frega, Frega also replaces the Gwan Win. I'm just going to be straight with you guys. So if you're going to run like Nico and Frega, that's going to work. Nico and Syndron, that's going to work. You're going to do absolute insane damage, but... If you can, you run Syndra and Frega for like your raiding purposes. That's why it gets rid of the Guan Win. Um, you just do too much damage, honestly, guys. You do so much damage with this hero. So really good investment for just five one and one. Always would recommend it for players. Uh, my Nika, honestly, has been pretty balling. We did do this on the live stream, and I re-rolled her skills. 
Um, you know, you can use the skills mechanic and you can actually retrain her skills with skill books. And I had four and I used a few gems just to get it a little bit better. But we got her to five, three, four, five, which is nuts. So you've got the biggest counter attack damage and hero skill damage bonus we can have, which is on all units. So when I do want to run something like a Nika, or well, an Emrys Nika March, which some people do for cavalry, I've got the best ability I can for her, which is really, really good. Uh, my passive skill again, four really good stats. And obviously we would wish this was be at two and this would be at five, but we can't, can't waste those gems. We settled for what we have. So I'm happy with it. Obviously she will over time level up and we might get her at five, three, five, five. Who knows, you know, in that opening. So the newest hero we got to the roster, Forendale. Yes, we've unlocked Forendale on my account. He's 5111 straight away. And I'm not gonna lie, I've used Bakshi Forendale in a few of my testing and I thought I would lose it in this and I won some really insane trades. Even when the uh, players I'm fighting were like level 42, 43 on their heroes and mine were only like 33, 34. Honestly, really, really good um, little fights, and he's really good. I'm gonna try and get him five five one one. Um, hopefully, over time, what I would try to do is actually go triple five and one. That's honestly a really good thing because at one stat, guys you always get 20% bonus attack when entering battle, which is just amazing to gain, right? And that's all you need it, because when you're using Forendell with those flying eagles, all your cavalry, well, normal cavalry, you're going to be able to get that instant rage proc, which needs that 20% attack bonus, meaning you're hitting even harder. So, triple five one is a really good investment for this hero. He's going to be super versatile, I can tell you now, in the future, you're going to be using him in, you know, different, hopefully, cavalry setups when there's more cavalry marchers in the game. So, I have loved this guy. Um, my Indus is, honestly, balling. I've rolled her somehow perfectly through just pure luck. She's at 515, so we've got that 20% HP and 7500 maximum legion cap. And then the 30% counter-attack damage reduction. I use this hero so much, honestly, gathering, obviously, but Dragon Trials and in my five march cavalry setup, when I use five marches or calves, she is in that ball because you need her in that ball to just abuse the instant 20% damage proc with then all of your damage following it up. It's just nasty. So really good hero to have in your arsenal. And like I said, I've rolled a really good. <coughs> my Nico. Again, a lot of players might have known this. I've had this for quite a while now. I did the same thing. I re-rolled Nico probably like two seasons ago. And when I did, we got him to 5-2-5-4. I was hoping to get him again, 5-1-5-5. Five, five, five. That's the dream right there. I'd have been happy as days. But again, we're going to work on him over time. You know, Gold Keys is going to unlock him. So we might get that fifth skill already maxed out. So I'll be happy with that. But what I'm doing right now, and a lot of people might be shocked by this, is Kanara. So my Kanara is 51111, and through my daily, you know, chest that you get every single day through VIP, I actually have Kanara selected right now. That is right. And you can see I'm only five away from her. I could technically use these four, so tomorrow I can upgrade a skill, which is really good. But I am leveling up my Kanara, and to be honest, any of these skills it lands on, I'm happy about. I don't care. But I am going to try and get this hero done. Uh, what I might even do is save up all of the upgrades for her. So at the next season, I could even go for like a 5-5-1-1 five, five, one, one Kanara, which honestly I think is one of the best ways you could run her straight away for the lowest investment. So we might even do that on stream or video. We might, you know, save it. Maybe hit the comments below what you think. And, uh, you know, maybe we'll listen and do, do what you guys said and maybe save or spend as we go. So I am working on Kanara, and the reason I'm working on Kanara is the same reason as kind of Forendil. Um, Kanara is just going to be one of these heroes, guys, that you're going to be using all the time, especially with an archer hero. She's just got four insane skills that are all PvP related, and in the future you're going to be using her with different heroes until maybe, you know, the 6th, 7th, or 8th generation archer heroes come out. Maybe she gets outshined by then, right? But... 
she is going to be something you're going to be using a lot. Same with, like I say, Forandell. And, and I'm going to say again, Valen, you know, even though I kind of brushed over him, Valen, you're going to be using all the time too. So all the time, once he's expertise, you're going to love him, honestly. So these are the kind of heroes I'm working on right now. We've got, obviously, Hosk. He's only 5-1-1 through the VIP. And my Garwood's 5 2 3 2. We could try and re roll him. I'm just not. I'm just going to leave him. I'm just going to let the gold keys work it on him because, again, in my eyes, he's not worthy of any investment. He's kind of the Richard the First of the game. And if you know Richard the First from Rise of the Kingdoms, you're not going to be investing into him, right? Obviously, Fyodor, I don't have. I'm just going to say it. We don't have Fyodor. Not at the moment. I wasn't lucky in Wheel of Destiny, but obviously we can't unlock him in the future, right? So we're pretty good. But if you're looking at all the epic heroes, I'll just quickly click on them. We do have every single epic hero fully maxed out. They're all able to be awakened, you know. We could even star up and level and get all of them max star now, most likely as well, because we're just missing out on two of them. And we definitely have the stars most likely to max these guys out. So, you know, you will have all of these epic heroes done, guys. Honestly, that's not what you should be worrying about. Just figure out what march types you guys actually prefer to run. And maybe just save all your generational tokens to then work on those heroes in the future, right? So, that is basically my account, right? I'm going to just showcase the last little bit before we clean up, which is the legions. I have... Total a legion count of 2.1 million. We've got a bunch of, as you can see, it's hard to see because the camera, I do apologize, guys. But we've got 386,000 majors, 381,000 iron bark, which is infantry. We've got 385,000 ranged cavalry because I am the spring wardens. And then I also have, and if I can pull it up a little bit, as you can see the forest eagles. 402,000 so basically I nearly have almost 800,000 cavalry at the moment and then for archers I do have 462,000 troops so we have so many troops I'm still healing a little bit of those troops you know got a nice amount of workout this honestly is enough for me I might boost this number to about 150,000 just to be happy you know in the future and future proof myself and all these tier 3 units I've just been gaining through scouting so once these are all gained from scouting I will upgrade them up and if you're wondering I always keep one uh, tier 2 elk rider or cav the reason why is is if you want to catch a you know a rune really really quickly you just send a tier 2 unit and it's the fastest unit in the game for you right with all your buffs so that's why he's there so that is my account you know, we have been playing in the store for 348 days. So we're not at a year yet. That'll be 365. And obviously, when we hit 365, I'll do another account update. So you can see after one year, what I've been able to get as a player and give you a full summary on that, right? With VIP 11, almost a VIP 12, and we've just been cruising, right? So that is it. That's the account update. I hope you enjoyed the video. You guys have been requesting it and asking in my uh, live stream about my account and if I was going to do something like this. And guess what? We've done it just for you guys. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. This is basically almost a year. You know, once we've got to a year, you'll see four years of progress on a account which has experienced, you know, basically four seasons worth of stuff. So you'll be, you know, having a good idea when you basically finish season one, two, and potentially three in the future, you know, you'll know what that is going to be, you know, what your account's going to look like when you're entering the fourth season of the game. So I hope you've enjoyed it. That's me, Mr. Sneaky. My whole account, fully updated, showcase for you, everything on display, nothing hidden. So I hope you've enjoyed it. All my stats were on display and we'll put them on display again just before we end on the little areas there. So if you've enjoyed the video, remember, smash like, comment and subscribe and tell me what you think below about my account if you enjoyed the video or not. This is again one we've not done in a very long time. So I know you guys kind of enjoy it and you can see for a T4 player, we've done quite a lot of damage. I'm just saying, we've done quite a lot of damage. We only fight generally in PvP. We don't waste, um, you know, like Elegar troops. We don't do stuff like that on this account. It's purely PvP. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. And with all that and all the exit, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Stay safe, stay sneaky. Peace out.